We're going to talk about Louisiana's two largest cities, New Orleans and Baton Rouge. We're going to compare the two and talk about some of the similarities and some of the differences. Here we go. Hey guys, Sean Ramos here and welcome to the Living in Louisiana channel where we talk about everything you need to know about moving to or living in Louisiana. So if that's what you're looking for, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell because I'm putting out new videos just like this every single week. And as much as I do love making these videos for you guys, what I really love is to help you with your real estate needs. So that number that's popping up on your screen right now, that's the best way you can reach out if you have any specific questions or needs when it comes to making the move to Louisiana. So there are tons of great places to live in Louisiana, but two of the most popular, well-known cities are Baton Rouge and New Orleans. And let me start by saying this. I grew up in the Baton Rouge area and I've lived there most of my life, but I visited New Orleans enough to get a good feel for it too. I can remember as far back as elementary school going on all these field trips to New Orleans and then just growing up going on family weekend trips to do the New Orleans things and even into the college years where we would go out and party on Bourbon Street all night. And when we compare the two cities, we're going to talk about multiple categories, but let's start with size. New Orleans is Louisiana's largest city with a population of about 377,000 people. If you head northwest about 80 miles straight up I-10, you'll get to Baton Rouge, which is the second largest city in Louisiana with a population of around 222,000, and it's also the state capital. Now, in terms of actual size, New Orleans is about twice the size of Baton Rouge, and it's definitely more densely populated. Both cities are known for their rich cultures and heritage, but to me, they have a very different feel. Both cities have a heavy French, Spanish, African, and Creole influence. To me, Baton Rouge feels like more of a laid-back, family-friendly, slower-paced city. And New Orleans has more of a vibrant feel. It's a fast-paced city, it's definitely more touristy, and there's a lot more nightlife. And I was looking at the cost of living between the two cities, and when I'm looking for this kind of information, I like to refer to bestplaces.net. And the way the site works to grade cities on their cost of living is they have a baseline of 100, which is the national average. So if your city comes in below 100, then it costs less than the national average to live there and vice versa. So Baton Rouge does come in lower than New Orleans and the national average in just about every major category. So that means you're gonna pay less to live in Baton Rouge than you would New Orleans for things like rent, food, utilities, and transportation. But let's talk about the one that interests me the most and maybe you if you're looking to relocate to Louisiana. As far as housing prices go, in Baton Rouge right now at the time I'm recording this video, there are 1,131 active listings with a median list price of $312,000. Now compare that to New Orleans where there are 1,733 active listings with the median list price of $369,000. So it's significantly more affordable to live in Baton Rouge over New Orleans when it comes to just your everyday expenses and your housing expenses. Now let's talk about the nightlife and the entertainment. This is one area where Baton Rouge really can't compare to New Orleans. Now Baton Rouge is no slouch. There's plenty to do, but there's definitely more of a relaxed nightlife scene. Third Street in downtown is gonna be like your main entertainment district in Baton Rouge. And there's a nice mix of restaurants, clubs, and bars. And they also have multiple venues for live music and a couple casinos. And New Orleans has much more of a lively nightlife scene. It's like a 24 seven deal here. When I'm talking about back in my college days, you know, I went to Southeastern Louisiana University in Hammond and we would go to the different clubs in Hammond. This is kind of a smaller town compared to Baton Rouge or New Orleans. But we'd go there until 2 a.m. when they would close down. And then some nights we would jump in the car and head out to New Orleans and we go party on Bourbon Street until the sun came up. So that's one of the unique things about New Orleans. It just goes all the time and never stops. Now in terms of entertainment, Baton Rouge has a number of museums, art galleries, and theaters. And it's also home to Louisiana State University, which offers a variety of events throughout the year. New Orleans does have a much more diverse range of entertainment options. It's home to the world famous French Quarter and they host lots of amazing festivals throughout the year like Jazz Fest, the French Quarter Festival, and Mardi Gras. Now let's talk about the foods. Baton Rouge and New Orleans are both known for their delicious foods. Now personally when I think of Baton Rouge I'm thinking more like southern comfort foods. Things like fried chicken, biscuits and gravy, red beans and rice and cornbread, and shrimp and grits. And when I think about New Orleans food, I think more of the Louisiana staples like boudin, gumbo, jambalaya, beignets, and king cake. Louisiana just as a whole is known for its amazing food, so there are tons of great options for any of that stuff in Baton Rouge and New Orleans. Now let's talk about some of the local festivals. Again, Baton Rouge and New Orleans are both known for their festivals, but they offer different things. 
In Baton Rouge, you'll find things like the Blues Festival, the Red Stick International Festival, and the Baton Rouge Soul Food Festival. In New Orleans, you've got things like the Jazz Fest, the French Quarter Festival, and then of course, what New Orleans is mostly known for, Mardi Gras, where one and a half million people every year come to take part in the festivities. And Baton Rouge does have some really fun Mardi Gras parades and festivals, but it really can't compare to what goes on in New Orleans. Now, in terms of the job market and economy, both cities have strong economies. But there are some differences in the types of job opportunities that are available. Baton Rouge is home to some really large employers like the LSU System, Exxon Mobil, the Shaw Group, Our Lady of the Lake, Oshner Health, and it's also the state capital, so there are lots of government jobs. New Orleans is much more of a major tourist destination, so there are lots of jobs in hospitality and the service industries. And there's also a really strong arts and culture scene, so there are jobs available in the creative industries. But due to the strong economy and the growing technology sector, Job growth in Baton Rouge is expected to grow faster than New Orleans in the coming years. As a matter of fact, almost every one of you guys that I'm helping relocate down to the Baton Rouge area are moving here for a job. There is the rare case where someone's just coming to get away from the cold or just coming for the lower cost of living. For the most part, people are moving here for jobs because we have a great economy. Now let's talk airports. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport is a smaller one. There are three airlines that fly out of Baton Rouge into five major hubs. You've got Atlanta, Charlotte, Dallas-Fort Worth, Houston, and Washington, D.C. But only about an hour and 15 minutes away, you've got the Louis Armstrong International Airport. They've got 16 airlines that service over 50 non-stop locations. So I don't have to fly very often, but every time I do, I've always drove to New Orleans. As long as I've lived in the Baton Rouge area, I've never even flown out of the Baton Rouge airport. And it's really because I do everything I can to avoid layovers. I want a non-stop flight, so I make the drive to New Orleans so I can find it easier. So whenever you do get ready to fly into town to meet up, explore the area, and start looking at some houses, you can fly straight into Baton Rouge, or you can fly into New Orleans and make the drive. But either way, I can't wait to work with you and help you make that move happen. That number that's popping up on your screen right now is the best way you can reach out to me. And I am the guy that replies to every single call, text, or email that comes through. I absolutely love hearing from you guys, so don't hesitate to give me a call, shoot me a text or an email, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have about making the move to Louisiana. I'm here to be a resource for you for anything real estate related. So whether you just have a simple question or whether you need to make a move right now, just let me know how I can help. And don't forget guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell because I'm putting out new videos just like this one every single week and I want to make sure you get notified every time a new one comes out. You guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.